anyone who would like to speak to us? What's going on, everybody? This is Rain. And Jeno. And we are Sinister RP. We still want to actually go and explore the other abandoned place. decided to go and hit up the cemetery for you guys during sunset and we do plan on getting better lights and so when we go back to that location we're actually going to go at nighttime as well as hopefully day and get some really really good shots and way better lighting than we've ever had before which will be really cool mm -hmm. but the cemetery that we are going to is called Bayview Cemetery Ooh. on Elm Street we haven't been there in a while, so uh, let's go check it out. Hey all, Jeno here with Rain, and we are at the cemetery. So as I was saying earlier, um, it is starting to become sunset, and we need to get some better lighting. So if it does get darker, you guys will see exactly why we need to get some better lighting before we go to Zeon Cemetery and the other location. Bayview Cemetery was originally established on land owned by John Patterson. The first burials occurred in 1884. The burials were later moved to the current site of the cemetery in the early 1900s. The cemetery was privately run until the 1920s when the town of Wyerton took over. The cemetery was added to and a small section of the original cemetery was set aside for use by the Patterson family. Jenna just said something pretty interesting to me. What? Yeah, I was just taking a photo of the cemetery and just before I clicked it, it looked like a black streak went right across my screen. Do you think you have it on? I don't, I don't know if it's in the picture, but it's not in the picture. Hmm? No. Yeah, well, it's uh... not visible to my eye anyway. Yeah, I'll have to looking out for that stuff. Now, as you guys can tell, the cemetery is way back here. But we also noticed that there is some cemeteries right down there, if you can see it. Let's see if I can get this zoom on here for you guys a little bit. Uh, hopefully, uh, is it gonna zoom in? Nope, ain't gonna zoom in. Oh, there we go. Yeah kind of randomly out there. Um. <laughs> wanna wanna tumble down with me? No? No, I don't want to tumble. <laughs> I tumble Actually, you know what? How about this? You guys want us to go check out this part of the cemetery? And maybe even have a video of me tumbling down this hill just for fun? Maybe even Jenna. Maybe even Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, let us know because then, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to the cemetery and we'll go check this place out. It looks kind of creepy over there, so. 
But yeah, we will actually just head back over here. Oh, look at this little section over there. I didn't even notice. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is actually uh, it's a pretty big cemetery, guys. Yeah. Sorry if the focus is a little bit off here. Should have brought uh, that other camera. Would have been probably clearer footage. It's okay. This is just off my phone. But Ooh, it's a little colder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's still cold there, guys. I wonder how long of an investigation this one's going to be. <laughs> I mean, you can tell that the snow is going, but it is freezing cold. Poor Jenna probably looks like Rudolph right now. What is the temperature right now? Do you know? Nope. Minus something. Minus something, yeah. It's still in the minuses. Oh, snow. Here we go. <coughs> now, I know we did visit this one before. Um, and there is some vibes that come off of here. Uh, we actually heard kids. We'll have to put the link for it um, in uh, like a pinned comment or something. But yeah, we heard kids last time we were here and that was, that was creepy. Now, like that's not a house over there. There's not really houses nearby. So, can you explain that one? It was at night too. Yeah, it was. It was kind of creepy. It was kind of creepy. Hmm. A tunnel over there. I almost swear that there was a statue there, but or maybe there's going to be a statue there. It's been a while since we've been here, so I don't know. I don't know, little Geno, little tarantula queen. Tarantulas don't do gold. Nope. That's why they're not native to Canada. <laughs> That's an old stone right over there. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, 1895, well, to 1978. Yeah. You know what I think we'll do, guys? We're going to go and warm up a tiny little bit in the car. That way we can come back out and uh, hopefully run a spirit box session. Get the delts and rods out. See what happens. But uh, we're cold. We're really cold. Okay, to the car we venture. Oh, yeah, good old cold Canada. <laughs> Spring is right around the corner, though, so I'm excited about that. Just like my last video there, trying to <laughs> run off to the car. I'm feeling like doing it right now is how cold my hands are. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, go, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the car to warm up again. And uh, yeah, we'll go over in a spirit box session for you guys. Hey, Pooh Bear. I know you like the cold, don't you? You love yeah. the cold. I don't. <laughs> So, <laughs> while we're here warming up, we were discussing with you guys what the weather was, and I said I didn't know, so I pulled out my trusty weather app, and in Fahrenheit, it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like 12 degrees Fahrenheit. In Celsius, that would be minus 5, and feels like minus 11. Brrrr. She's like, I, I love like, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> polar bear weather. <laughs> All right, my hands are, they're, they're frozen. They're still frozen. So we're gonna just do this in the car, but we're in a cemetery. If anyone wants to communicate with us, they will regardless, right? Um, we'll use the, the Necrophonic app for this. Uh, so if we come back, I will definitely use the dowsing rods. And this way I won't be holding them and shaking like this, you know yeah. what I mean? So, we don't want any of that. We want to actually get true answers. So hopefully the Necrophonic will uh, give us some of those. 
All right. Um, do you have a question you want to ask first there, Jenna? Um, I don't know. Maybe just ask the usual if there's anybody here who'd like to communicate. Yeah. Is there anyone who would like to speak to us? Not very talkative today. Who was that? Say Chris. What's your last name, Chris? Chris, can you give us a last name? You know what it feels like with the cemetery inside it. Um, the difference between this one and uh, the Boyd Cemetery, I, I, I don't feel, uh, and no pun intended, but I don't feel so sinister here. Yeah. Um, it feels more like safer ground. Now, I don't know about those other tombstones down there. Could it be a completely different story. Um, was it a coincidence that we heard kids the last time we were here? I don't know doesn't mean it was a bad thing or a bad spirit right no because they sounded like they were laughing and playing playing right yeah so um there might actually be no one around here that wants to really communicate maybe there's no disruption and energy around here um and nothing negative happens around i mean who knows you know what i mean mm -hmm. um i mean we've tried to, to search up and see if there's any famous people or murderers or anything that have been buried in these kind of cemeteries. Uh, and this cemetery, no, I haven't, we haven't seen anything. I mean, no. we'll, we'll look a little bit deeper, but like I said, I don't feel like there's anything malicious here, but that's not to say that <laughs> for whatever reason, those stones are down there. Who knows why? Right. And who knows what that energy feels like? Right. I mean, it it did feel a little different just standing up there and kind of looking at them. But who knows? You kind of have to go and experience it and feel the energy out yourself. Exactly. So uh, we'll try one more time, see if anyone does want to communicate. So if anyone around here would like to talk to us, uh, can you tell us your name? Multiple different names there, wasn't there? I think there's multiple names. I think names. so. Um, can you give us your last name? Is Chris your last name or first name? Do you have something you'd like to tell us, Chris? Can you tell us about the tombstones that are further away? There was some sort of undertone there. I heard something. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, if you guys don't see it in edit there, uh, well, if you guys know what it says, that'd be awesome. Hmm. Let me ask that question one more time. Can you tell us about the stones, the tombstones that are further away? Uh, 
Well, we're only here to say hello, and, uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Do you have any messages you'd like to tell us? Or anybody? Are we welcome to come back here another time? Thanks for communicating with us, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Interesting kind of communication there. I mean, obviously, it doesn't feel like anything really bad came through. Mm -hmm. so the sounds are scary, but um, but we know, like, the necrophotic has um, a set of... Sound banks. Yeah, sound banks and stuff, right? And then you got to listen for these undertones and everything like that, right? Because sometimes when you get a clear response or it says something to you that it's just too coincidental, it's just, yeah. you know what I mean? Especially those times when we've asked asked it to say our names and it literally just said our names right out loud. Or the time we were just talking over at Boyd Cemetery and I just asked you and uh, King... Is that dogs or or uh, coyotes? And all of a sudden, it just said wolves. Yeah. Well, even look at uh, the, the first thing that we started doing there with Ernest. Mm -hmm. right? At Boyd Cemetery. Got Ernest right on the, um, the necro and then go home and you get Ernest again. And we never really hear it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so... And, uh, yeah, just before we go, um, I guess we should tell all the spirits here you are not allowed to follow us. You are not allowed to attach yourself to us, our dog, our car, or anything else that we have with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, guys, keep it spooky.